And so one of the things that we have to do with laser diffraction is an optical-based um, uh, particle sizing technique. We look at the, uh, the light scatter from particles and we measure that light scattering. And uh, in order to interpret that, we use something called a me scattering model. And uh, in order to use that uh, um, uh, scattering model, we have to set the optical properties of our materials. And so I want to introduce the, uh, the me scattering model and the other uh, uh, approximate models that we can use in laser diffraction go through why we uh, uh, need uh, optical properties, and then rather than just leaving you there thinking, my goodness, all these op optical properties to obtain, what do I do now? I'm going to go through some of the techniques that we use in our applications lab here in Malvern and around the world to um, measure or calculate or um, to estimate the optical properties. And so there are, there are 30 slides, so that's about 30 minutes of your, your time. Thank you very much for giving it to me. Hopefully it'll be useful. And as Rosie says, if you've got any questions, I'm here to answer them. So please send them via chat, and at the end we'll take as long as is required to answer the questions that you send through. So, laser diffraction. As you'll know from the other parts of this master class, if you've attended them, laser diffraction systems do not measure particle size. Um, shock, horror. Well, what do they measure, you ask? You're the product manager for the uh, uh, technique. I bought it as particle sizing technique. What do you mean it doesn't measure a particle size distribution? Well, laser diffraction systems are indirect particle sizing techniques. We calculate the particle size from light scattering data. An example of the sort of data sets that we uh, um, measure is shown here. For, uh, uh, and what we can see is both at 5 microns here and at 800 nanometers particle size, we can see the light scatter from particle in this case in a, in a simple cuvette. And what laser diffraction does as a technique is it measures the intensity profiles we see for these particles, and by measuring the change in intensity as a function of angle, then we can interpret that as a particle size distribution. And of course, in order to do that, we need an optical model of some kind, and the, uh, um, the optical models we use to predict this scattering behavior require some form of input uh, information. And so the main model that we use in, uh, in laser diffraction is the me scattering model. Uh, that is, this uh, model accounts for the interaction of light with matter. And it makes uh, some assumptions, and they're worth mentioning uh, up front now. We assume in the laser diffraction world that all particles are perfect and they are spherical. Okay, and so even if you put an, uh, a non-spherical um, uh, uh, particle into the laser beam, then we will interpret that uh, as an, uh, uh, an equivalent sphere. We'll give you an equivalent spherical diameter. The other thing mean theory assumes is that a two-phase system is present. So if we have mixtures of materials, then we have to make some approximations in order to use the model. If under those um, uh, assumptions, mean theory is valid for all wavelengths of light and for all scattering angles that we measure at. So with our uh, master size of series of instruments, we measure light scattering over a wide range of angles. And so the use of this model becomes key to obtaining good results over a very broad range of sizes from 0 0.02 microns up to 2,000 microns. It predicts the correct scattering intensities for particles. And importantly for us, it predicts secondary scattering at wide angles. And this is, this is scattering caused by the passage of light through the particle, as well as um, uh, a signal caused by the diffraction of light from the outside surface of the particle. And so the new um, ISO 13320 standard, ISO 13320 2009, published in November last year, suggests that me theory provides a rigorous solution to the complete scattering pattern that is valid for all particle sizes. And that's why it's the core to the products that Malvern produce for laser diffraction.